and welcome to segment 8. This week's segment was actually already done by me, but my computer crashed and I lost everything. So, um, I had to create a new file and get to this point because um, I already saved the other one at the end of this video. So this file will just replace it for this video alone. Um, after this, everything will be back to normal. Um, thank God I'm going to do this one more time. <sighs> okay, we're going to head to the market at Hyrule Castle and play a bomb chew game. Um, that should be fun for those of you who are good at it. Takes a lot of practice to get good. So, hopefully, you only have to do it once or twice. Um, just talk to the lady. It's 30 rubies each play, and the prizes generate randomly. What you want to do is place a bomb chew on the ground, and it'll, like, run along on its own. And you have to get it to hit the target. The first two, um, usually pretty easy. The second one is kind of annoying because it can be in different spots. Uh, don't worry too much about it. But the third one is the best because you can cheat, sort of. Um, just stand uh, in between the second and third lines to the left of the middle arrow and turn 45 degrees and place a bomb chew down. It should run along the wall right to the middle of the target, and you win a heart piece. Just play the game as many not times as you need to to win the heart piece and the biggest bomb bag. This one isn't the biggest because I skipped the other one on this file, but it should be for you. Um, then just head back to the room with all the pots and refill your wallet like I did there. Now we're going to head to Hyrule Castle courtyard thing, whatever. Yeah, just Hyrule Castle. And get Din's fire. Um, climb up the vines. We're going to go the same direction we did before. Um, like we we saved... Not saved. Talked to Princess Zelda. And infiltrated the castle. Instead, though, we're going to go to the right and blow up this rock. Because that's where we need to go. And I don't know why I go so far away. The blast radius isn't really that big. But crawl into a little hole. And in the Great Fairy's Fountain. Just play Zelda's Lullaby. And the Annoying Fairy will come out. And give you something special. For that, you get Dinge's Fire. Uh, it's like a fire attack. Hits everything around you. Pretty cool. Now we're just going to head to the Lost Woods, and the easiest way to do that is to save it and reset. As you can tell, I play on the Wii, and I do use a classic controller. I don't know why I don't like the GameCube one, but... Anyway, we're going to head to the Lost Woods, and you should know the path by now. If you don't, you can just watch the video again, I guess. Once in the Lost Woods, we're just gonna go through our normal path. Right, left, right, left. Very easy to follow. Um, we're gonna deviate a little bit from going into the secret meadow, though. Um, once you get through that, go straight. And then you see a boulder, go left. And that boulder is the one you need to blow up. Just go in right into the hole and take out a slingshot or your Deku shield if you really want to. And kill the scrub on the left. He will let you buy a Deku nut upgrade. I don't even know why I wanted to do this, but you can, so we're going to. Um, just head straight out, and you should end up in this forest, and back in the town. If you don't, just find your way back. <laughs> that sounds mean, but you should be able to. Um, now we're going to head to Zora's River. 
to Hyrule Field. Not really the longest walk, but oh well. This part is really boring. You get to do a lot of stuff though. That should be fun. Uh, what I like to do here is do a spin attack on all these bushes because it looks really cool. That's the only reason, I guess. And now you get to talk to the owl. And when he leaves you, roll into that tree. Gold Skelchula. I don't get hit by this one. Pretty awesome, I guess. And now we can blow up those rocks. Because we couldn't before. Um, we're gonna head straight until you see this guy sitting down eating stuff out of a bag. Buy as many beans as you can. Magical beans. Okay, you should end up with five. Yes, five. And just plant them, plant one into the ground. In this dirt patch right here. And that's what they're used for. When you're adult link, they grow into plants that can help you get gold sculptures, heart pieces, and stuff like that. Now we're gonna go grab that chicken. This chicken is our ticket to two more heart pieces. So that's what we shall use him for. And just follow the path and jump over the river. When you get to a cliff like this, just throw him over and pick him back up again. And head to the very edge of this platform and jump to that one over there. Notice we couldn't get there before if we didn't have the chicken. And throw him into the river. And somehow, he always ends up at the top. Doesn't really seem possible, but every time, it works every time. I'll um, just cross this platform. And just do it slowly. And jump over to the heart piece. There we go. And don't hit the chicken. That's not a good idea because it will run away. Like this one did to me. There we go. Thank you for helping me. Uh, now we're just going to bring the chicken all the way to the end of the waterfall. And good thing it's turning to night right now. Because that's when the last gold sculpture in this area pops out, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's turning to day pretty fast. That's because of an editing or a gameplay error and I had to redo a whole segment, but if it's nighttime for you, you'll be able to see the sculpture. If not, just play the song song. And stand on the highest cliff at the very end and jump down to the heart piece. After this part, you want to jump off, not not this way, because I land in the river, but so you're like directly under the heart piece, and stare at this ladder right here. Play the sun song if it's day, if it's night time, you don't have to, and the skeleton will appear, magically. Take out the slingshot, and kill it. So this should be our 20th or 21st, I'm not really sure. But we've gotten a lot so far. So now head to the little ground insignia thing, I don't really know what to call it. Play Zelda's Lullaby to open up the waterfall. Makes complete sense. And really it does open up the waterfall. jump into the cave thing, dark cave, and it's the end of segment 8. We have entered Zora's Domain. Thank you for watching.